This is the book of Isaiah, <clears throat> chapter 41, and verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not, be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Shalom, Yashua'ala. Peace, Israel. Call Halayim Law. Allah Hayyanawa, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Hashem, Raka Hakwadash. I am the brother Kasai Gadol from the Camp Province of Babylon, down here in Tampa, Florida, coming at you with a quick hit through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and rule well, being great examples to his younger brothers. Peace, blessing, love, health, and wellness, and all salutation to the whole for like the house of David that is scattered abroad across the four winds of the earth, laboring in his truth with all sincerity. Shalom. Hoping to feed the lambs and the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Straight to the point, let's get to the lesson. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. All right. So the reason for this precept that I brought out, man, is we have to understand, man, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah is our comforter. All right. Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah is our comforter, along with the Holy Scriptures, man. All right. The water to Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shah for giving us this truth, knowledge, and understanding. Because as scriptures say, for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times, right? And with the times that we are coming in, coming into, okay, we're coming into some very, very perilous times. All right, famine of the word, okay, December 13th, all right, cash, uh, cashless society, all right, the MOTB is here, the Karagma is here, okay, Ro uproars, sedition amongst men, pestilence, Famines in diverse places, wonders and signs in the heavens, all right? But at the end of the day, we have to understand what? That Yahweh by Shimi Shah is with thee. That's why the scripture said, fear not, for I am with thee. How is that? Because the Most High dwelleth within. The temple of the Most High dwelleth within, man. And in these times that we are coming into, we definitely need Yahweh Shah. This is not a time to be sitting around. It's not a time to be on the, uh, playing video games. It's not a time to be, all right, uh, get bugging out, okay? It's not a time to be falling out of, the, out of the truth, man. All right, let's grab this precept real quick. This is Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is his treasure, right, man? And the, and the times that we are coming into, the Lord said that for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. So if we're girded up in the spirit, all right, with this wisdom and this knowledge, okay, loving Sophia, all right, if we're girded up in the spirit, man, we're going to be stable in these times that we're coming into, okay? Because these people out here, they're so lost and caught up in this matrix. That they don't even understand the times that we are coming into, man. Let's grab this precept real quick. Bear with me. All right. Because the time, like like I was saying, the times that we are in, people are, are, are still marriaging. All right. They are, uh, they're, 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 they're marriaging. They're rejoicing. They're in that joyful spirit still, man. And not knowing that their whole, the world that they grew to love is about to collapse and perish. This is, uh, the book of Luke, chapter 12, and verse 56, it says, Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time? All right. How is it that you, how is it that you, Jake, still can't discern the times that we are in, man, when this devil is literally blatantly telling you that he's about to imprint everything on in America? And you, and you, Jake, all right, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you are owned in America, man. Okay? You are owned in America. How do we know that? Deuteronomy the 28th chapter. Okay? Deuteronomy 28, 32. 
68. All right. The whole Duty Rummy 28 chapter. The Baruch 3 and 8. Baruch 4 and, 4 and 6. Okay. We are still this day in our captivity, man. So we have. Ooh, Salaki, excuse me. So we have to understand that these times that we're coming into, man. All right. Let's grab this. <clears throat> this is uh we're gonna we're gonna go to second Ezra 9 and 1 and then we we'll ended on that Matthew 24 and 38. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, right, man. Because we, the, the Lord, uh, the Lord Yahweh Bashimah Rashad has already told us uh, of the signs, okay? When we start seeing, uh, when we start seeing uproars, all right, sedition amongst men, okay? All of these, all of these things, pestilence, all right, earthquakes in diverse places, okay? When we start seeing all of these things, okay, that's when we know that the time is running short, man. Because why? Scriptures say what? Let's go down to verse two. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right. Judgment shall start where? At my house first. Who is the Lord's house? The house of Israel, man. You Negroes, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Okay. So the Lord is going to get ready to, to visit this world. Okay. He's talking about the whole world also. All right. The whole entire earth. And on top of that, the world itself, which that world goes into cosmos, which would be a remnant of people, which would be uh, the Israelites, all right? Israel, okay? We have to understand that these times that we're in, man. This is no time to be playing. This is no time to be, all right? This is no time to be a simp, okay? This is time to do the work of the Lord, man. Because brothers are getting fed up, man, all right? Brothers are getting fed up. I'm tired of this fucking vexation. I'm tired of having to work for this damn devil. I'm tired. Of, I'm, I'm just tired of this place, man. So brothers are getting fed up. So if you're getting fed up, man, you're going to do the work of the Lord, man. You see? Let's grab this priest up. We're going to end it on this. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 24 and verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, mirroring and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right, man. Also shall, shall the, the coming of the Son of Man be. So the scriptures say how, how the Lord shall come in like a thief in the night, man. So that a lot of this is going to take the time when the Lord comes is going to take a lot of you jakes. Or a lot of these jakes by surprise, man. Why? Because they're going to be too busy caught up in this matrix, man. So measure out the time diligently in itself, man. Okay, understand the times that we are coming into. With that, I'm gonna close out and give all praises going on it too. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, and double honor to the elders and apostles, a great millstone that taught me his truth to rule well. Shalom.